Hello, welcome to my channel. In this video, we'll understand how can we detect face within an image using Python OpenCV. I have created a project already and we are going to write code here and uh, we'll test this out. How can we detect the face? Okay, so you could see there are few images in the in the folder itself. So I'll be it will be easy for me to read images from the existing folder. Uh, okay, so let's begin with the code. So first of all, we need is uh, we need to import library. Okay, so we need to import CV2 library, and uh, uh, I usually prefer it using as CV because all the time writing CV2 uh, gives some strain uh, on while typing on the keyboard, right? So we are going to name this as CV. So first of all, we read image. Uh, we'll read image. So to read image in a um, IMG. Let's create an uh, variable which is I am image and we'll read the uh, dot read image. Okay. And we are going to read uh, this image as uh, family. This is my family photo. Uh, okay. And let's show this image first and uh, uh, then we'll start processing it okay so to show the image we have this command cv dot i am show uh, image yeah and uh, cv dot wait wait key because we need to wait for some time to display then will destroy all the windows uh, okay but we have not uh, yet created uh, the window the first syntax the first uh, argument should be an window name okay found face okay i'm going to give this window name as found face so found face image uh, cv and will uh, destroy all windows we are going to destroy all all those windows and i love this intellisense because uh, i chose uh, it gives the function itself so no need to type all the functions okay so we are good to try with this so we will just click on here to run this and play this okay you could see that uh, this is uh, this is an big image okay this is a big image so we need to resize this first so that it will be visible for us to uh, us in a single window right so let's just resize this image first okay so we'll place our resized image in this variable and we have this function cv dot resize resize so wherein we need to pass which image need to be resized and then uh, what are the dimensions okay so dimensions uh, actually we should be giving uh, in a format like this that is 640 480 okay so these are usual dimensions uh, that uh, that we can give so let's just show our resized image first okay so that we'll be able to process process this good and shortcut is right okay so we are good to uh, go because we have resized successfully resized our image and then uh, we'll start uh, doing face detect okay so for face detection we uh, need is what we need is we need har cascades har cascade is an huge library of uh, features face features so we need to we need to uh, access that first so what what we'll do is uh, face cascade will create a variable as cascade is equals to uh, we have this function called cv dot uh, cascade cascade classifier and we need to uh, we need to specify where that file is okay so i have that file in the same folder xml okay so we have we have successfully created a har cascade um, a feature variable uh, we need to apply it on our image the processed image is i'm going to hold this in uh, face uh, faces so we have got a face cascade dot uh, there are multiple methods with which uh, we can detect uh, de detect face 
so we are going to use this multiple uh, detect multi scale okay detect multi scale and from which from where it should detect it should detect from resized image okay uh, okay but uh, prior to that giving uh, this actually this function expects uh, our day our image to be in in gray scale so i'm going to create a uh, gray image first so gray equal to cv dot dot cv t color okay then we need to specify which image that we need to resize okay we need to resize this image and with what dimension uh, i mean like in which color that is cv dot color rgb to gray rgb to gray okay yeah so we have successfully created our uh, gray scale image over here and uh, the show uh, let's take this a little down here and uh, so we need to pass this gray scale image to uh, to this uh, detect multi scale function so where it also expects uh, a few arguments like uh, scaling factor so i'm going to give this as 1.1 and uh, how many neighboring pixels uh, should it search for so i'm going to make it as 8 now so you can try multiple options depending on that your accuracy is going to get decided okay so uh, we have this face detect we have successfully done this so here we will be having multiple faces detected within this image this face and this faces is going to have all the coordinates of the faces within an image so we need to segregate uh, we need to take out those coordinates and xy that is xy coordinate where that is located uh, what's the width of an image uh, width of an face what is height of, height of an face okay uh, in faces right okay now we have this function called cv rectangle rectangle now this expects on which image do you want to plot that rectangle so we have already done we don't want to do uh, plot that on grayscale image we are going to do that on resized image and which is in color image okay so color image so here we need to mention uh, your rectangle dimensions okay so your starting coordinate and starting is going to be your x and y okay and uh, what will be your uh, um, um, you know ending coordinates of that triangle is we need to provide spaces here okay so it is nothing but x plus width right and y plus height y plus plus y plus height right and here we need to mention colors as well so uh, i'm going to make this as a uh, blue okay let's make this as blue okay and uh, what width do, do i have do i want uh, let's keep it as uh, this two and we are good to go okay we are good to go with this let's give the spaces here so that it won't show this particular sing single uh, signal right okay so we have successfully okay we have successfully calculated our uh, faces from this har cascade uh, we have applied grayscale image and we have now we are now going to show all those uh, faces on our colored image okay right so we are good to go let's uh, run this code and let's see what output do we get awesome so you could see that we have successfully um, detected faces within an image so you will find the code link below in the description box do check that out and type in the comment box what did you learn out of this video i'll be happy to read all of your comments see you in the next video bye bye